Hello there, my name's Carlo, and welcome to a very, very exciting After Effects tutorial. Um, I think today we're going to um, have a bit of fun, and I'm going to be trying to teach you guys how to use the Roto Tool, or the Roto Brush as we call it, in After Effects. Um, with this tool you can achieve some very, very awesome, awesome effects, and get some really awesome work done. So first and foremost what is the roto brush tool basically what this does this is very similar to the pe uh, sorry to the to the to the pen tool um, for masking but what roto brush does it makes it more simplistic and it makes it more easy for you to do um, it allows you to take moving images out of a footage um, and add your own backdrops um, and effects to that um, and this can work with actual pictures um, and videos as well so what I've done is um, just to get started I've loaded a picture into my composition um, it's only a few seconds long it's not long it's just basically off this Concord um, about to take off and what we're going to try and do we're going to basically try and roto brush um, this Concord the best we can now obviously I can't take it to the max and do the whole 15 seconds because the thing about roto brushing it does take a long time to do um, if you want to get it right um, but obviously or hopefully um, by the end of this tutorial um, you'll come to know about router brushing and what it does and what it's used for um, so you can use it in your own projects yourself um, it just makes life a lot more easier as well so this is going to be fun so um, I've made a new composition I've added my um, footage into my comp and now all I'm going to do is very simply um, I'm going to duplicate it so I've got two so now I'm going to come to the bottom one, I'm going to rename this Roto and that's done like that and then when the row is selected what I'm going to do is just double click on it now when you've double clicked on it it will bring up this panel here next to your composition window um, and this is where we're going to get all the rotation, or sorry the Roto tools from so now we're going to click up here on your Roto brush and anything you want um, you can put it in green um, anything you don't want what you do is you hold the alt the alt if you're if you're on, um, on windows so alt but um, sorry the alt key and I'll show you what happens when you hold down your alt it'll change it to red so that'll basically take anything away normal just um, uh, left, uh, left mouse click um, add it to green so basically what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom in and we're just gonna bring it over and all we're gonna do is just highlight what we want to keep basically and it's as simple as that now it can be very 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 fiddly this I won't lie to you it can be really fiddly um, so it does take a lot of playing around with but I'll show you what you do when you get sort of things like this you can basically hold down and cut this out because we don't want any of this and what I do is flush it with that we don't want any of this and uh, we don't want none of this here and basically all you're doing is just basically tidying it up um, the best you can we do want this Zoom out. Now it's not going to be perfect this, but um, like that. and then what we're going to do is make sure we zoom in so we can get the little bit here. We do want the wheels. Don't want that. Don't want any of that. Don't want any of that. Don't want any of that. It's not going to be perfect this one, but obviously it's going to give you a rough idea of what we're actually aiming for um, we definitely want that uh, don't want that and basically what you're doing is you're basically tidying up the scene now as soon as you do it if you look here this is your uh, timeline exactly the same length as this but by doing what we've just done you want to keep that bit there by doing what we've just done we've added a keyframe just there so now if we move it one along as the jet moves 
you have to basically tidy it up so we want to keep that there that bring that there so for every keyframe you make you have to fix your rotor brush so we don't want that but we do want that right. so basically it's just a question of playing around with it as you can see and just getting it the best you can and each time you do it it will add a keyframe for you we don't want any of that don't want any of that and it will fix it up so it's a case of just playing around with it and keep going until your project's complete basically and this is what can take a long time guys this can take really a long time to get it perfect Don't want that. Don't want none of that. Right, so you see what I've just done here. I'm not going to do too much of it. I want to make sure. Wait for that to render out. Definitely want that bit there. Right, okay. So we've got this, this couple of scenes here, right? It's nothing special. But we're going to cut that back. I'm just going to give you guys a rough idea how it's done. Right, so if we go we're just going to make sure that scene goes right to the finishing touch bring it down it's, it's nothing special you fix it up if there's things missing that's when you tidy it up like this bit here you're just basically tidying it up right okay so now once you've done what you've done say for instance you you've done your project it's all finished you've got all your timeline it's all tidy make sure it's exactly how you want it and once you've done it you're going to hit the freeze and what that does that will put the basic all the rotor brush together and it will keep it the way you want it so you can't mess with it now obviously this is going to be really really rough um so because obviously for the sake of just, uh, this tutorial i'm not going to do it perfect because that would be crazy right so as you can see what it says here, it says rotor brush segment is frozen unfreeze uh, to uh, update segments what that basically means say you've made a mistake and you want to fix it see now it won't let me do anything because it's frozen if you hit that unfreeze you can go back into your project and continue with what you're doing well, obviously like I say for the sake of this tutorial we're not going to bother with that so what you're going to do is say you've finished and everything's done you're going to cut to your composition and then this is your roto this is your original so what you're going to do is you're going to shut your original off so now you see what you've done you've just basically got your 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 roto brushed image there so say for instance you've got it like that it doesn't look great because it's not roto brushed what you can do is go to your roto brush open it up and then You'll have your effects panel here and your go your mat and then basically what you can do is you can smooth it out, make it a lot more smoother, and you can feather it out as well to um, add a bit of final touches to your to your project. So now you've finished what you've done, you've got your film. What I do is um, I've got a green screen on my desktop um, that I made myself just to green picture what you can do is drop that below and what that's done it's giving you green screen and you can have actual green screen or put whatever you want behind your scene absolutely whatever you want but what I do is I'll select the original what I do is I'll just delete that so it don't interfere with my project if your project's got sound don't worry it's still keep it in your rotor brush finished product project because basically what this is is a duplicate of what you've just done of the original shall I say so now what you can do you can go to effects you can do your old key light like so and what you can do is you can get a wallpaper anything you want or video or picture or anything you want and you can actually put it behind the moving video so let's try this one no that one's not very good actually get rid of that let's uh, import another one file import file uh, let's find something else anything in my pictures no 
let's get this basic one fuse this in a couple of module tutorials bang and now you've got whatever you want in your background it's not just that you can actually get you know your roto or whatever you want you can get your text you can type in you know let's type in roto change your color do you know what I mean and then you can put basically whatever you want behind your scene show you so right, that's gone there so what you do is you bring that just below your roto bang you can have text in your video sort of behind your scene wherever you want um, and this um, you can make some awesome stuff with this you really can you know, you're placing objects um, behind a moving video that you've cut out. So say for instance you want, I don't know, you want an explosion or you want something, you know, in front of you. You're in the way um, and you want an explosion in front of you or a fire in front of you. What you would do is you brush yourself out, Bob's your uncle, job done. Put yourself in the scene, put whatever you want in the background um, behind your moving video. So yeah, that's basically it really very very simple sorry about the dodgy plane um, but it's very effective um, when you do it properly obviously but obviously for the sake of the tutorial I'm not going to do it properly um, but I you, you know you get the gist of what we've done here so job done really now if you want to go back to your roto tool you know you just basically go to your layer um, and then what you do is you unfreeze it and then you can go back to um, doing your work with your with your rotor brush and that's basically it really so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you want um, and i'll see you again in the next after effects tutorial take care guys bye